Ireland, our culture. Well, it was very simple. I mean, I've been coming to the island all my life. My mum's from just around the corner from here. And uh, so I've been coming here once, twice a year for as long as I can remember. And of course, in recent years, there's been so much filmmaking stuff going on. I mean, I'm a film critic. That tends to be the area that I know about. I was here a few years ago when they had the premiere of me and Orson Welles, and it was just completely mad because Zac Efron was, you know, running up and down outside the Villa Marina here and screaming girls everywhere. And it was completely bananas. It was like a rock concert. And I love Chico and Rita, which was a film made by Fernando Trey, but I think some people don't really understand how much uh, the island was involved in that film. And of course, I think that was Cinema NX's first Oscar nomination, which was a you know, really big deal. So I, I'd been coming here because of my family connections, and then I ended up coming here because of my work connections for doing film stuff. So when they asked me, I was really, really chuffed. It was, it was a real honor. And, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm just really, really glad to, to be involved. I think if you've got a great cultural life, if you've got you know, art and poetry and music and film, it just improves everybody's mood in general. But more importantly, it's a way of getting in touch with your own, with your own heritage. I mean, one of the things that um, you know, the uh, Island of Culture 2014 is trying to do is, is to talk about promoting the idea of a specific you know, Manx heritage and Manx culture. There's a lot of work with the, you know, there's youth outreach, which is very, very important. And it's a way of making people feel connected to their community. And it's also a way of making People, you know, explore things that they wouldn't necessarily have done otherwise. The fabulous thing now is it's possible to make films with, with so much smaller resources than before. To get this image that you're looking at now, 25 years ago, would have taken a camera this big. And so it's particularly important for young filmmakers that they're able to grab hold of the tools of the trade. You can edit at home now. You know, you can get a computer with editing software on it. If you're making music, you can mix your own music. If you're writing, you can word process and you can email stuff around. So on the one hand, it becomes very international, but more importantly, it kind of roots you within the community. It is funny how there was a sort of myth uh, some time ago that if you wanted to do anything in, you know, in arts and entertainment you had to go to London. It's absolutely not true. The fact of the matter is there's so much going on here now and the island's pretty small. I mean it's what is it 30 by 15 and yet you look at how much music, how much drama, how much art, how much filmmaking. I and mean, in terms of the filmmaking, if you think you know something like Stormbreaker which was a huge production and all the other films I mentioned on like Me and Orson Welles, all being made on the island. If you're living on the island, that stuff is happening around you. The, the effect of it is it just makes you think, oh, I can do this. That idea that it's, you know, it's happening quite close to you. I mean, I'm, there's this joke that you're all completely blasé now, but oh, Johnny Depp's over there. <laughs> anyway, you know, but it's really good that people see films being made all around and say, oh yeah, he's doing that, and that's a gaffer, and you know, that's a, that's a camera loader, and, and they've edited that themselves, and they, that's a huge big set, but it's just up Jerby way. Or whatever. That makes people feel that they can get into filmmaking. I mean, I think it's, that's the most important thing, is encouraging people to say, look, if you want to work in films, work in films. It is possible, and there's no more encouraging atmosphere than doing it, where it's happening all around you. You know, I, I, I think having a film festival is a really great thing. I mean, I've, I've, been in, I've, been, I've co curated for the last five or six years with my wife, Linda, the Shetland Film Festival, which I'm, Shetland's a very different place to the island. But when we first set it up, the interesting thing was they didn't have a cinema. There wasn't a single cinema in Shetland, not one. There was a theatre that they would show films in. Five years after starting the festival, they now have a bespoke cinema. And one of the parts of that was just the idea of let's have a film festival here and let's talk about film and let's show film and get people to discuss it and we'll bring filmmakers up. You know, we had Terry Davis and we had, uh, you know, Ken Russell's uh, editor came over and, you know, we've had, and Miranda Richardson was there and Bill Forsyth was there. And just being there in, as part of a film festival encourages film culture. And the next thing you know, it's flourishing. The next thing you know, there's cinemas. The next thing you know, there's filmmaking. There's television programs being made there. Now, I know that it's very, very different, but there are similarities. And the similarity is festivals bring people to somewhere. People see what the place is like and they are always surprised. And for the people who are actually there in the island in the first place, it's great because it's a way of communicating and sharing ideas and showing off your wares to the rest of the world. In terms of the importance of arts and, and, and why, you know, why arts are so significant, 
it's not just that we think they're good for people, which I think they are, in, incidentally, I think on every level, emotional, you know, intellectual, you know, physical, I think arts are just good for people. But the fact of the matter is they're also very good for the economy. If you have a thriving artistic industry, and let's take, for example, film, because that's the kind of the area that I know a little about. If a film is made somewhere, and the film is successful. Firstly, there's a whole lot of ancillary stuff that happens around the film. You know, the crew come over, where are they going to stay? There's stuff that has to be produced, stuff that has to be bought, there's food, there's transport, all that stuff. The ancillary industry is a very, very big deal. The second thing is that films have a life in the international world that are to do with advertising the place they were made. I mean, there was that great irony that, you know, when Waking Ned was made and everybody said, I really want to go to that village in Ireland and go, well, it's funny because it's just round the corner from Port Erin. And actually, I think in the opening shot, you can see Milner's Tower. So it's clearly Craig Nish and it's not Ireland. And of course, that people would then go and go, look, it's the village from Waking Ned. Well, that's one side of it, which is, you know, locations. But there's another side of it, which is just if stuff is happening, if art is being produced, if films are being produced, it generates a sort of sense of you know, positivity about industry, about investing in places, about taking your own industries there. And it's clear, I think, from the outside, because you know, clearly I don't live in the Isle of Man, so what I'm telling you is an outsider's view. People take the place much more seriously now than they did 10, 15 years ago. And one of the reasons, not sole reason by any means, but one of the reasons is that they take films made in the island seriously. It's had an enormous cultural impact. And that is important because that, you know, it brings jobs, it brings wealth, it brings, you know, trade. And these things don't exist in a vacuum, and particularly not the case of films, because films are made by armies of people, you know. So it's really important because, you know, art and culture is important to sort of healthy life and good social interaction and being connected with the community. But from a purely financial point of view, it's important because it generates the economy.